This is the top surface of the urinary bladder. Here is a part of the sigmoid colon and here is the rectum and of course here is the external anal sphincter around the anus which would be over here. Here is the ureter and you can see it's going to be entering the urinary bladder and you can see the muscle of the urinary bladder represented here. Remember that's called the deucer muscle. In this view, part of the urinary bladder has been removed so that we can look inside. Here is the pubic symphysis. Here is the wall of the urinary bladder. Here you can see the muscular wall of the urinary bladder. The mucosa is thrown up into these wrinkles which are referred to as rugi. Here we can see the opening of one of the ureters and here is the opening to the urethra. This superior view will give us a better view of the interior of the urinary bladder. And again we can see that the internal mucosa is thrown up into these wrinkles which are referred to as rugi. And here we can see one of the openings of the ureters right over here and here is the opening to the urethra going through the prostate gland. Notice that right over here the mucosa is smooth and there is a triangular region where the apices are the locations of the two ureteral openings and the opening to the urethra and you can see one half of this triangular surface here and this triangular surface is smooth this is what is referred to as the trigone. So this smooth surface which you find on the interior surface of the urinary bladder is referred to as the trigone. This region here between the rectum and the urinary bladder right over here this is referred to as the rectovesicular pouch.